Taylor Ruff had three goals tonight. What has she shown so far as far as tenacity and uh, aggressiveness? Oh, it's awesome to see. You know, three assists on Thursday night and then three goals um, tonight. You know, she she puts a lot of pressure on herself um, and she wants to be very impactful. And uh, sometimes she makes a mistake like a lot of players do um, of judging their performance based on the stat sheet. And she does so many things that don't involve statistics. Um, um, but, you know, one of her greatest assets is scoring goals. Um, and uh, so I know she feels pretty good right now. And uh, as, a, as a coach, all you want is your, your players to be feeling good and confident. And um, she scored actually not, not only three goals, but three phenomenal goals. On top of that, just one point shy of most points in a game for her in program history. Just mm -hmm. how good can she be even beyond that? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> so complete, and, and she and I talked about it last week because, uh, you know, all these players, they, 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 we talked about it with last year's team and last year's team trying to find confidence in the team. These players, they put so much pressure on themselves. They're so hard on their, them, themselves. They're so self-critical. Sometimes there's a lot of value in that, and sometimes it can be harmful. But we talked last week about all the different – her defending ability, now she was the core and link with Leilani last year in the middle of our midfield. And her ability in the air um, last year, so massive. Um, but she has the ability, like she did tonight, to score and assist. And uh, she can do it all, she really can. And that's why teams didn't want her to come back for, for pro teams didn't want her coming back, college teams didn't want her coming back for this fourth year. But obviously we're so thankful that she did. How pleasing was the effort for a 490 from the whole group? Yeah, it was good, and we talked about it at halftime. You know, when we played TCU, we had scored five goals in the first half, and we said that we weren't at our best in the second half, and technically, I didn't say this, but technically we lost the second half against TCU, one nothing, and we have to have a mature um, performance in the second half, and I thought it was pretty good. A couple of loose moments on the ball and led to some counterattack situations, gave up a couple shots in the second half that were, you know, a little bit frustrating, but I thought we kept the foot on the gas, and, you know, it's such a new team, right? 11 players the other day made their Florida State debuts. Um, and I think tonight with Maddie Smith playing, now I think we have 12 players that have made their debut in the last two games. So, you know, I don't mean to, I hope we didn't disrespect North Florida, but these kids are playing. They're competing for spots. We're trying to figure our team out and trying to figure out exactly how we want to play and how we want to do things. And uh, so a lot of good performances and just experience. And we need that because Obviously, starting tomorrow, we lose four more players. Two games, 15 goals, not conceded for you guys, and so many contributors, like you said. Just how pleasing it is as a coach to have that versatility on display so early? Yeah, it's everything, because um, it uh, shows that um, anyone can hurt a team. And we've scored, goal, scored goals, not just from different players, but in different ways. Um, and there's value on the, in that, because at the end of the day, we just want to win. And at the end of the day, we just want to score. We don't care how, we don't care who it comes from. And uh, so I, I don't know the exact numbers. I think maybe 12 or 13 players in two games have scored goals. That's, that's, that's got to be a record. <laughs>